Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to talk about, is it worth buying directly from the mint or is it better buying on a secondary market? I think the quick answer is whatever you prefer to do is the best way to do it. Um, but I want to go over some things that could be pros and cons. Um, I think there's only one con of buying directly from the mint. Um, but there's a lot of pros of buying directly from the mint. So let's go over some of these. Um, let's go over the pros first, and then we'll go over the con um, later on in this video. So buying directly from, I want to, we can talk about every mint, um, because you're probably going to have pretty much the same pros and cons. But I want to go just stick with the United States mint. Um, I recently made my first purchase, which I haven't done my unboxing yet. I do have them in hand, which is the 2018 reverse proof set, but I have not uh, opened them yet because I'm still undecided exactly what I'm going to do with those, if I'm going to get some graded or not. Um, but the unboxing should be coming uh, pretty soon, so stay tuned. So let's go with the pros of buying from the United States Mint. This here, what we're looking at is a 2016 proof American Silver Eagle with the edge lettering. Unfortunately, you can't see the edge lettering because it's in the slab. That's how I bought it um, from Atmex. It's a PCGS PR69DCAM, which means deep cameo um and uh i bought this from atmex uh right when they first uh were released um can't remember exactly offhand what i paid for it but i think it was about 65 bucks um slapped like that and the reason why i have this paper over it is because i just don't like showing off the serial numbers um from pcgs or ngc on video so that's why the paper is over so let's talk about what are the pros of buying directly from the United States Mint well there's a lot of them so when you buy directly from the United States Mint you can um, you're gonna be the first owner um, the con of this really is if you buy from let's say Atmex or eBay, chances are these have been cherry picked, um, looked over uh, for grading purposes. Um, if they're deep cameo, um, and if they're deep cameo, you're gonna probably be paying more. If they're not cameo or deep cameo, then you could potentially be paying less, which I guess would be a pro of buying from the secondary market. Um, so let's go over the pros. Buying from the United States Mint. Um, you're going to be the first owner. Um, if there's errors and such or um, deep cameo, cameo, you can send these in to be graded and they could potentially be worth more than what you paid for them. Um, so you, so if buying directly from the United States Mint, you can find out if they're cameo, deep cameo, possibly errors, um, you know that they're not going to be cherry picked, okay? You're the first one to lay eyes on them. You're the first one to see them. Um, so you know that they're they're not cherry picked. You know that they're not fake because you're buying directly from the source, right? Um, grading purposes. Not everybody's in the grading. For me personally, I am not a fan of grading, getting uh, modern day coins graded. However, this one here I did buy early on and um, uh, probably not a wise investment to have bought it in a slab although I only paid five dollars extra for for it in the slab so not horrible um, and I am thinking of sending in my 2018 reverse proof set so kind of hypocritical by that standard um, but the reason behind that I'll, I'll talk about that on a different video. Um, but grading, if you're into grading, 
Um, it's best to buy it directly from the mint uh, once again because you know that they have not been cherry picked. If you're buying from eBay or from Atmex or from Modern Coin Mart, especially Modern Coin Mart and Atmex, you know that these guys are big into grading and they're looking at all of them and they're pr they probably have been cherry picked. Um, early release and first strike. Early re release and first strike. I've done a video on this. Those designations, um, according to the Mint, mean absolutely nothing. Um, all this means, early release and first strike, all that means is that you have you have sent them to be graded within 30 days of release. Um, if you're sending them to PCGS or NGC, I believe... That if you keep them sealed in the box that they were shipped in from the mint, if you send them in after 30 days, as long as they were sealed in the shipping box, I believe they'll still honor the uh, early release and first strike, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, all this means a first strike and early release sells for more money on eBay. Sells for more money. Um, my local coin shop will pay more money if it has the early release and first strike because that's what people like even though it really doesn't mean much um the u.s mint does not have a program of first strike or early release they mint them they ship them out in no order um so it really doesn't mean much but people like to see that first strike and early release on there um so but Buying directly from the mint, you can send them in to get graded, and as long as they're within, you can prove that you've uh, sent them in within the first 30 days or bought them within the first 30 days, you can get that first strike or early release. So those are the pros. Deep cameo, cameo, errors, um, not cherry picked. They're not going to be fake. Um, po potential for grading. Um, first strike and early release. Those are a lot of the pros. The con of buying directly from the United States Mint or any Mint for that matter, but let's let's talk about the United States Mint uh, only. Um, probably lost in value. Um, a lot of the products from the United States Mint depreciate in value. Um, now, that doesn't matter. If, if you're a flipper, um, if you want to resell them, um, that could be a very big detractor because um, most of the United States Mint products that, that we buy on their website are, are mostly proof coins um, that are over, overly produced. Um, let's talk about this one here. Thanks to uh, Solivate Metal, I now know how to go on the United States Mint website and look up the mintage uh, numbers for most of the things that are on there. I looked at this 2016 Silver Eagle. It appears that there's been over 500,000 of these made, and they're still selling these 2016 proof um, Silver American Eagles, the anniversary, 30-year anniversary with the edge lettering. Um, they're still selling them. So these are way overproduced. Uh, possibility of getting my money back that I paid for this is probably slim to none. However, if you're not someone who is thinking about reselling them, then it really doesn't matter. Um, but if your main purpose of buying these coins is to make money on them or resell them, uh, most of these products probably are not, you're not going to make or even in, in, most, in a lot of cases, get your money back. So in that case, buying from the secondary market such as eBay... Um, is probably a better way to go just for that standpoint that you're gonna probably pay less than what you paid for at the at the mint um, but again you have to think about cherry picking um, possible fakes so I would definitely be cautious when buying um, from places such as uh, uh, Facebook marketplace or eBay um, you're definitely a lot safer buying from Atmex or, or uh, Modern Coin Mart, although you might pay a little bit of a higher price and you know that they have probably already been looked over for grading, for deep cameo, for cameo. 
and stuff like that, but you're safer than uh, eBay or Facebook Marketplace as far as fake things because you're probably not going to get a fake coin usually from one of those big online dealers. So curious to see what you guys think about this. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, do you prefer buying from the secondary market or do you provide, prefer buying directly from the United States Mint? Um, and what do you buy from the Mint? What, what kind of U.S. coinage or uh, proof coins and, and that do you prefer to buy from the United States Mint? Now, the only product now, like American bullion, silver American Eagle coins, you cannot buy, uh, to my knowledge, from the Mint. Those have to come from um, the online dealers or, prop, or maybe your local coin shop. But those are not available, uh, to my knowledge, directly from the United States Mint unless you uh, have an account with them and uh, buy them in as a monster box. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot, everybody, for listening. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how do you prefer to purchase um, United States Mint coins from directly from the source. Um, how how I do. I would rather purchase mine directly from the source, even though they may uh, be a little bit of a loss in value in most cases. But at least you know what you're getting, um, and you're the first one to lay your hands on them. Um, and you know that they're not cherry pick, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, fake. Um, there's just a lot of pros buying directly from them. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks a lot, everybody for listening and, uh, please like comment, subscribe and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, everyone.